and it is 4 o'clock in the east, 1 o'clock in the west. And for those of you that are just joining us, our breaking news, President Biden announced he is ending his reelection bid. It happened at exactly 1.46 p.m. Eastern time. The president writing in a statement that it has been the greatest honor of my life to serve as your president. And while it has been my intention to seek reelection, I believe it is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and to focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term. And then in a separate social media post, the president endorsed his vice president, Kamala Harris, to replace him as the party's standard bearer ahead of its national convention. That Democratic convention begins August 19th in Chicago. And we should note that President Biden is the first president since Lyndon Johnson in 1968 to decline to seek a second term. And in fact, no sitting president has dropped out of a rate so late in the election cycle in American history. Robert Costa. It's really important we step back and look at the history. Politics is unfolding right now like a tide coming into the shore. But we have not seen anything like this since 1968. When Lyndon Johnson decided to not seek the Democratic nomination, the date was March 31st, 1968. We are now in the hot summer of American politics after the Republican National Convention, just weeks before the Democratic Convention in Chicago in August. And this is a time that is so tumultuous in presidential history. In August 1974, Richard Nixon resigns the presidency. And now we will remember in books and histories to come that in July of 2024, President Joe Biden, alone in Delaware with just a few staffers and family members, decided to not seek the Democratic nomination as he looked out at the beach in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. It's a seismic, shocking moment. Everything is in motion now for Vice President Harris. But for a president to decide to not seek this under pressure from his party, after thinking about the presidency going back more than a half century, it is hard to understate how much of a painful personal decision this was and how monumental of a political moment it is for the United States. That the sitting president of the United States faced a rebellion within his own party at a time challenging Donald Trump in a rematch between the two of them. Two men, 81 years old, 78, Donald Trump. There's so much about this campaign. And when I stepped off the set to talk to one of his closest friends. They said to me something very interesting. They said when Lyndon Johnson stepped away in 1968, at least Senator Eugene McCarthy and Senator Bobby Kennedy had the guts to run against him publicly. Mm. What makes President Biden so bitter this afternoon in Delaware is that at 81 years old, he had to relent to pressure that was often private from allies of Speaker, former Speaker Nancy Pelosi and former President Barack Obama.